the moment we've all been waiting for. It is the 2024 Castle Lager Rugby Challenge and we are in for round seven of this encounter. It will be the visitors run for who will be playing against the newly named Hollywood Bits Wanderers Rugby Club. And for this encounter, we have within the starting lineup for this run for side, we have the new man in terms of the new front row from a run for point of view. They've brought in the likes of Ricardo Berger, who came in last week as a replacement. He is actually starting in this first half here with Christoph and Emeris, even harder as Finest Wagon, the 142 kg player. He'll be coming in as a dynamic tight end for this run for side. We're not taking away from Tia now who's currently the vice captain, teacher by day, rugby player by night. He will be coming in here to showcase some of his teaching elements and actually put this Hollywood Bets Wondrous Rugby Club at ease from the screen here. And not taking away the men who will be leading this pack today will be the captain almighty, Justin Mainkies, with the head coach, Willem van Lochenberg. And looking at the Hollywood Bets Wondrous Rugby Club, they've set up a different structure as well being led by the head coach, Mr. Neil Califay. They've brought in back the likes of Craig Kolnak. He's been away in the previous fixture when they actually lost to Raiders. He'll be coming in there, being led by the captain fantastic again, Mubego Zulu. And he'll be hoping to get this campaign really well for his side. And we are off with Ranfontein playing with the traditional green and white. And they'll be playing from your left hand side of the screen to the right. Now patience build up here by Wanderers Rugby Club. Now moving the ball really well here is Harty. A great feed to the left and her side. It is Mushwana. And it's a turn of a ball here by Ranfontein here. Great work by Reek. Now looking to feed for the ball here as Franco Tiered plays it to Jose Diaz. Now building it patiently here are the men from Runfontein. They had looked for a gap within this wondrous rugby club defensive line. And the penalty call there was given by the referee. This is a great start here for Runfontein. Have a few more moves up their sleeve. They're currently the most unbeaten season within this entire Castle Lager rugby challenge. They've started off their campaign really well and have played a total of five fixtures, winning all five of them to be precise. And this is also be another encounter for them that they'll be hoping to bag another victory, especially playing away from home. And now, and now taking the line out duties here is Christo van Emeris. Plays it and it's a turnover by Mubego Zulu. Great work here by Wanderers. Oh, takes it to the right hand side. Oh, great skill there coming in by Rashia. What a great start here for the Hollywood Bits Rugby Club. With the sun still sitting on this immaculate pitch. They'll be hoping to put their foot down here as Van Emeris has another opportunity to redeem himself. He gets the ball back though. Great recovery by him. Now setting up a great structure. Other men from Runfontein feeds it short here. A great work by Tian Nell. Now setting up main keys. The captain fantastic. And a penalty is given to them. A great work here once again by main keys. We have seen him over the last few fixtures, especially leading towards round seven and his Castle Laga Pirates Rugby Challenge. He's been quite a player and a force not to be reckoned with. And he has managed to get his side at the first penalty. And this is what they do best here. Uh, the likes of Yanko Tiet is definitely hoping to open up his campaign within the first three minutes of this encounter. And a strategic decision here. Just a few meters short from the 22 meter. He's hoping to go for poles here with his gifted right foot. And the kick is there. 
The height is good, but not going over the poles. Now Wonder is still looking for options here. Goes into the safety hands of Rick. It takes it up a field and great work there by Rick into the defensive line of Ingworth. Now recycle again. Great work by Van Meris again. And it's a turnover ball at breakdown. Now this is strategic work. Great work here. And T comes in. Now spreading the ball well here are the likes of Kolak. Feeding it to the evasive JJ Moshuana. He's been quite a great player over the last few weeks. It's JJ. Now playing it. Moving towards the center here. Ah, uh, the Hollywood Bates Wanderers Rugby Club. Uh, Hardy calling for his forwards here. Uh, looking for more work. Ah, uh, the forwards, they were rotating the ball brilliantly again. Feeds it to Ngobese. And a great style of movement here by Glass. And the penalty call is given by the referee the man who has the referee duties for this encounter it is Richard Schultz where there's assistant referee number one Richard Cock and Imano Williams as the home base side is also hoping to open up their campaign with the like of Craig Kolang he comes in into the starting half Kolank hoping to open up his campaign. The height is there and it's over. And a great start for the home base side. They've opened up their campaign now with the first three points. And it's all coming together for them brilliantly with the Castle Lager. And guess what, ladies and gentlemen, this is what you get to experience every single weekend from this Castle Lager Rugby Challenge. Rugby that never disappoints and rugby that always comes together. And now the men from Runfontein hoping to respond quickly with a great high ball into the safety hands again of Franco Tiet. <laughs> now looking there for PRT. Runfontein looking to set up structure. Bayveld plays it brilliantly. He has a strong move coming in now. Great hot running by. Bayvault again. It is Rudy Marks who finally gets the ball into his hands for the first time of this encounter. Great ball distribution by Runfontein. It's a 50 50 pass towards the left hand side here. Letting the ball do the work brilliantly. Great pass here to the left hand side. Great beast running by Pieter. And a great feed. And a great run here coming through by Louis Smith. Who opens up his campaign is Louis Smith. And a great response here by Runfontein to add in the first five points into this encounter. First a try of this fixture. And it does come through the comfortable hands of Louis Smith. Now hoping to convert are the men from Ranfontein. And the height was there, but unfortunately, that was a miss from the referee. And it's still currently the visitors who are in a comfortable lead of five points. And the, and the home base side with just three points. Now 
Now Ron Fontaine gets it safely, looks for that high ball. And into the hands of the one and the only number 14, JJ Mishwana. We just had the sun shining brighter like the diamond into his eyes and knocks that ball forward. And now this is giving the men from Runfontein another opportunity to set it up. And the front row battle continues here between the likes of Jake Glass, Rory Anderson, Asha Mayowitz, who's going against the likes of Van Aswagen, Van Asmeris, and Berger from a Runfontein's point of view. Franco getting ready to feed that ball for Ron Fontaine. Early engagement once again. And the referee has that one covered. It is quite expected here between these two sides. They actually did play earlier against each other. And it is the Hollywood Bets Wanderers Rugby Club who walked away from that encounter as the victors. They finish off that campaign with just 28 points to 18 for Wanderers. And they'll be hoping, as they're playing on their home turf, to make it two out of two. But it does seem like the visitors today have come in with a different attitude here. And a great feed here now by Franco. Sends it to the dynamic now on the left-hand side. Sends it long. Oh, great structure here by Reek. Feeds it now to a 13 here to Villiers. And a penalty being awarded there. Great work at the breakdown by the likes of Harty. And the ball carrier not releasing the ball. It is a turnover ball here for the home base side. We're hoping to get that ball into touch. And this is a great structure here. Once again by the Saranfontein side. They're utilizing phase plays. And most importantly, sending the ball right out to the likes of Tevilius and Marx, who have we've seen over the last few weeks especially from a round six and round four point of view. They've really been evasive, really love carrying the ball really well, and they're pushing up so brilliantly in this encounter. Now the feed is in, into the safety hands again of Nti. Harty looking for that ball, and feeds it to Kolank. Distributing it really well here. Letting the ball do the work now to Asher Mayowitz. The tempo is increasing from the home base side. Colang feeds it to the left hand side again. Clint Anthony, a great pass here, a great movement. And into no man's land. And the referee calls it. And unfortunately, once again, it's a turnover for. The men from Ron Fontaine. And it does seem like at the moment both sides are moving towards each other, causing a bit more frustration from a defensive point of view. And once again, it is the battle of the front rows. And it will be great to see the likes of Luzu Gopanya from the Hollywood Bets Rugby Club. Taking up that ball a bit more. Should they have the ball in hand? Now Justin Menkes also has another opportunity. We've seen him run a few phases from a structure's point of view. A short on penalty awarded here to Run Fontaine. Ops to take it quickly. And now plays it brilliantly again to the BC forwards. It is Devault. It's another turnover ball here. It does seem like the structure is there from a run Fontaine Rugby Club's point of view. But they're not sending in a lot of men towards the breakdown. And here's another opportunity from the home base side to have a go at the poles. It is Craig Kolank. A man who's hoping to have a go once again and possibly at another three points for his side.
Takes a breather. And unfortunately, missed that one. But a great effort coming in there by the dynamic fly half, Craig Colang. I was hoping to push up the side. The side that was founded in 1886. We're currently basically at College Drive in Johannesburg in Lovo. And moving uphill again. It seems like the ball's turned over. Great work here by Ron Fontaine. Opting to go the opposite direction there. Once again, it's Franco. And a cross kick attempt was given. And into the touch line here. And it'll be a recycle ball for the home base side. Aya! And they'll be hoping as they come into this encounter to possibly secure a win. Last week in round six, they actually played against Raiders. It was also an away game. And they lost in that encounter. It was a narrow loss, 33 to 37. And the previous week, they actually played against Vitz as well. They also lost that encounter. So they are hoping here to get the likes of the skipper, Zulu, to move upfield. Now and see, gains a few meters for them in. And the penalty call is given. Once again, Run Fontaine putting their foot down here. And they've been awarded another penalty to possibly move uphill and penetrate the defensive line. In another good range of the 22 meter. Another strategic call here by the visitors to go for the poles. And it does seem like Yanko Tiet will be the man. We'll be hoping to add in another three points here for his side. And the height is there this time around. Into the safety hands again of the men from Run for Team. Now moving up here again from the left hand side. Ops to go for a high ball. And the bounce doesn't go anyone's way. And it's really one that is seemingly a slow start from both ends here. We are moving towards the 17 minute of this encounter. I'm still even Stevens, but Sars really pushing and hoping to set up the structure. Now, turnover ball again. Great work there by Glass. He sets up this Hollywood Bets Rugby Club. And Wonder is moving uphill, hoping to set up structure again. T feeds it to Mayo. It's a great passing movement here. It does seem like Rashia has moved towards the opposite direction. Some great ball distribution here by Wanderers. A run for 10 in immense pressure here. With Harty opting to go towards the opposite direction. Great passing movement, Engwith feeds it to Mushawana. And another call will be brought back for all the players offside there from a Lions point of view, from the Randberg side. It's such a tight day at the office here from both these two sides. As Hollywood Bets, Wanderers Rugby Club have a few key players to look out for. From a fly half's point of view, Craig Kollerick, as he's coming back into this encounter, he'll be a player and a force not to be reckoned with. He's quite an evasive player and looks for those critical gaps within the defensive patterns. Even the likes of Ingworth, who has moved away from the fly half's point of view into a center now. Now into the safety hands of Murray Newlands. The gooses for the first time and loses the ball in contact. And it does seem like a knock on again is Murray Newlands. We had all the time in the world to bring it together, but unfortunately came into a knock on. Now this sets up the way side to possibly move uphill and gain a few meters here. Yeah. 
Now Ryan Fontaine in a good position again to set up another movement. He feeds it in. Is Franco looking to take it out? Another great ball here to the left inside. Big boy carry again by the centers. He has another move coming through from the left inside. Secured by Monet Piata. No wonder is in a great deal of pressure. Great structure coming in now by Bailevelt. Still setting up another phase here. Great off the ball movement. Great evasion skill now to the seven. A fantastic run here. By the men from Manfred. Great movement. Just a few meters short is Tavilius. Just a meter short here. Other men from Manfontein digging in for that ball again. And setting up the structure. Sends it long to the left and side. An easy ball to Yanko, who gets that one over. And a try given to the visitors again. Great work. Coming in by this run for Tain side. They've added more points onto the scoreboard. And it does seem like the home base side might just find themselves in a lot of pressure. Should they allow more opportunities like this to come their way? It was such a great day at the office here for the men who are currently being led by the head coach, the villain from the Lochenberg. Now Yanko hoping to convert this opportunity. Sends it over. And this is a great addition to the scoreboard here. And this adds a bit more pressure to the Hollywood Bets Wanderers Rugby Club. And moving towards the 22 meter. The men will be hoping to get this ball in that direction and out of their own half. And a restart with Kolang. Sending it high and wide into the safety nets of Tavilius. Also sends it to touch. And the call here. There's a line out and have an opportunity to set up their structure again. Are the men from Wanderers Rugby Club? It is Rory Anderson who has given the duties. Feeds it brilliantly to the center. Feeds it to the right hand side. Great pick by T again. Now ups to go the opposite direction. Was looking for the winger again, Jabu Rashia. Unfortunately, didn't synchronize well. And now it's a turnover ball for Runfontein. Plays it towards the end of the line out. The referee was called in for a knock on. And this makes the home base side to actually breathe in for a minute. And Amiris and Anderson have been going at each other throughout this whole encounter. As Harty gets ready to feed the ball in. And a great feed coming in here from Harty. Feeds it now to Coloring. Great pass to Ainworth. 
gains the meters, plays it to Zulu. And moving really well here. Are the men from Wanderers distributing the ball really well, hoping to look at gaining the BC men and opting to go the blind direction. A great work once again now fed to Mushawa. And a great hard tackle coming in by Tian Nell. The tempo of this encounter is being turned up here as Coloring is now taken down to ground. Harty feeds it to Glass. Gaining the faces here with the penalty going their way. Are the men from Wanderers? They've also had a really great start to the season, even winning fixtures such as the one they were playing against UJ. But they are currently sitting third on the log. Just playing six fixtures, winning just three and losing two. And they'll be hoping to possibly get this line out to work in their favor and move towards the, la the try line. Great feed in by Anderson to the hands of from T. Was sucked down there as he was hoping to get a more moving. A glass, a few men over that ball, gaining the meters here. All the men from Wanderers just setting up the fours to do the work here. This is great structure. Now Harty feeds it again to Glass. Was working really hard here as Glass. Zulu takes it up there. Oh, a few meters short here is Zulu. And the call is given. And it is a try coming from the likes of Nti. And a great feat there by Zulu to Nti. Who opens up his campaign there. Is the one and only Katlejo Nti. And who feed, feeded that ball into the comfortable hands of Sipu Siso Ngobese. And a great finish here by the home base side. And it does seem like the Hollywood Bets Wanderers Rugby Club still have another opportunity to bring back the voices of the home base supporters. And coloring. Sends it high and it's over. The conversion is good. He's made it three out of three. Is the fly half. He's one of those players that has been brought in to set up the plays. But most importantly, to make sure that the back line and the forwards are synchronizing well. And now it's just a two-point difference as they move towards the touchline of the home base side. All the men from Runfontein. And it does seem like one of the Runfontein players is currently receiving some medical attention. And have worked really hard here. Are the men from Runfontein? And this encounter is right next to the Wanderers Cricket Stadium, the home to the High Felt Lions, They're showcasing some entertaining cricket within the South African region. And this immaculate pitch and the stadium is in Kole Drive, in a suburb that borders between High Park, Sanhas, Inanda, Meros. It's quite a sought after area, especially to the young professionals who are looking at coming into 
the area of Santin. And even the fans are out in the numbers to enjoy a great afternoon of rugby being showcased. And around us, Parcel Laga has set up some great boots for the family to enjoy. There's meals all around, the vibe is sensational as Chris Brown would call it. And everyone is working and working hard like Rihanna would even call it. In one of her most famous songs, Work, Work, Work. And even the referees are fully kitted by Best Met. And our official ball for this encounter is proudly sponsored by Gilbert South Africa. And everything from the fans to the meals to the refreshments to also the rugby that is being showcased. It's all coming together with the castle. And now the home base side was hoping to push it together with Rory Anderson. And the referee has called in for another scrum. And they'll be hoping to hold the ball here and possibly retain it and move towards the try line. This is another opportunity for them to push uphill. Franco feeds it in brilliantly. Taps Juice Justin Minkies, plays it now to De Villiers. Good hot running by De Villiers. And just a few meters short here, still distributing the wall. Raid hard running again by Piata. Looking for options, still ups to go to the right hand side. Marks ups to go the opposite direction. Still retaining the ball really well here is Rudy Marks. And Franco takes it himself, utilizing his BC forwards. It's all still moving uphill here. Spreading it again to the left hand side. A penalty call is given by the referee for that high tackle earlier. And we have reached the 30 minute mark here. But there's still a two point difference as the visitors are still currently in the lead which is 12 points. We still have another opportunity as they're moving towards the try line with another great kick into touch. Maris plays it long to Diaz. Great take there by Diaz. Setting up the structure again here. Are the men from Runfontein. Just a meter short. Looking for the scrum half. And Franco loses a ball in contact. It's anyone's ball now at the moment. And it does seem like the home base side have turned it over. And a great is a kick there by Harty. And the ball taken out into touch. The men from Runfontein were hoping for something very light, but Harty had a different opinion. He brought a very hearty exit their way and has gained a few more meters out of the, of the red zone for his side. Another take here by Bale Levelt. Feeding it now to the back line. Great work defensively coming in. The penalty is still given to Runfontein. Looking to take it quickly. Great run here by the scrum of Franco again. And a bit rush is turned over by Panya. Great work defensively by Panya. But into the head of his teammate. The ball is turned over again now. Run for 10. Feeding it to the right hand side. Great ball distribution now to Bailavelt. Looking for options here. A slice of a tackle there to Tian Nell. Now opting to go the opposite direction here. Are the men from run for 10. Great hard running. But a solid tackle coming in by Torres. No. Utilizing the left hand side here. The home base side will be happy as the men are being currently pushed back. 
from Ranfontein. De Villiers. Into the comfortable hands of Justin Minkies. De Villiers again. Trying to cause a bit more chaos here is De Villiers. Looking for various options here now. All the men from Ranfontein. They have run off ideas here. They might just take the ball and try and gain a few more meters. Sends it longer. Oh, great evasion coming through now from Monet Piata. Playing it short. Here's a penalty advantage. Yeah, it looks for a little grab up. And recovered. And the call is a knock on there by the referee. It seems like a constant theme is still happening from the Ranfontein side. They are creating a lot of opportunities for themselves to possibly convert. It seems like what's missing from their end at the moment is converting all of the style of play to a try. But it's still early days as we move towards the 35 minute mark. It's still just a two point difference here at the Casa Laga Parex Rugby Challenge. One thing that you can definitely count on is a hashtag count on castle to always bring you the action, the vibe, and the care for the community. And Castle Lager sponsors the Castle Lager Carlton Cup in Pretoria and the Moor and Murray Cup in Bozulu Natal. We even saw just a day ago UKZN Peter Marisburg playing against Westville Rugby Club. That encounter finished off as the Westville Rugby Club walked away as the victors in the Moore and Murray Cup in case it ain't sponsored by Castle Lager as well. And this is what Castle Lager does. It brings communities together. And that is why we say that everything comes together with the castle. And it seems like Rory Anderson was the man who's receiving medical attention is back on his feet. And the referee, Richard Schultz, is having a few more words given out to the front rows of the two sides. And now Harty will be hoping to exit out of their red zone here. And now Harty feeding it in brilliantly now. Great scrum coming in by the home base side. It is Panya looking for the penalty. He gets it. Oh, great scrum here by the Hollywood Bates Wanderers Rugby Club. They were looking at retaining that ball and possibly getting out of their own zone. And they've been in immense pressure here on the home base side. Kicking for touch is Harty. And now they have a great opportunity here to try and possibly penetrate the run 14 defensive line again. It has been rather one-sided in the last eight or so minutes as the visitors have been hoping to get over the game line. Now Anderson feeds it to Nzi. Now the mole is moving. And Harty getting the small to gain a few more meters here. And finally takes it out. A great hard running for Collaring now feeds it in here. Ingworth gets the move. It takes it towards the right hand side. But a great slice tackle there by Tavilius. Now well, the structure is being set up again by Nti. Ladies and gentlemen, the intensity here has gotten my blood pressure high. You know, the home base side, great fancy pass there to Torres. The Wanderers are gaining the meters. And a turnover ball again is a call by the referee with this penalty. And they were turning up the heat here. Are the home base side, and unfortunately, not being able to convert. All of this well-worked move and collaboration from their own 22-meter 
towards this run for Teen side. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, as we move into the halftime break. It is currently Run Fontaine Rugby Club, who are currently in a comfortable two points lead. And as the home base side, which is 10 points, please stay tuned for the upcoming second half of this Castle Lager Pirates Rugby Challenge as we broadcasting live in the next few minutes.
The man-to-man -man support is really coming in really well here for these men. Uh, still hoping to move uphill here. It's given into the hands of Bernie Bellevelt. And a big boy hit coming in. And still retain the ball. All the men from Montfontaine. A penalty call is given there by the referee for that high tackle. And it does seem like the likes of Catlejo and Z. Might just find himself in a very tight position here as the referee. Just has a talking to, to the likes of Mubego Zulu, the skipper. And it does seem like he has reached out to his pocket. You do not actually generally see the referee reaching out to his pocket. But at the moment, it's certainly might just move that direction and he has done so and it does seem like the man who received the yellow card is Jabu Rashia and now Runfontaine have a man up and they'll be hoping to utilize the man who's been sent to the sin bin As they're hoping to take this kick now, once again. The height is there. And it was not over. As the ball slid towards the left-hand side of the poles. No wonder is we'll be hoping to restart again here at the 22 meter. And the restart is there fumbled from a defensive point of view and taking up himself is De Villiers. tries to kick here into the handsy worth of Murray Newlands he goes for a little grubber himself and caught in the action now turnover ball here by Runfontein great hot running again by Franco Tiet is running ring a ring a rosy around the defensive line here looking for various options again it's really coming together here for this run for team side. Looking at retaining the ball is from court. He has a nice of Monet. Plays a short to Monet Piata. Some patient build up coming in here. Feeds along to Tavilius again. And a duo tackle comes in. It's a loose ball from the referee's point of view. And it's a knock on. It's a turnover ball here. Now the home base side have another opportunity to possibly get into this encounter again. Neil Califier's men will be hoping to put their foot down here today. They've had a really tough day at the office today from converting these balls. They've been under immense pressure coming in from both sides but one thing they've done really well is the synchronization and the collaboration from Harty and Craig Collang has really been a joy to watch and the amount of carries coming through from Asher Mayowitz it's been a joy to look at is Asher Mayowitz and even the likes of Jake Klaus we saw him in the previous fixture against Vitz he came on as a replacement but he is consistently looking for they're starting 15 and finally to today he has that opportunity to utilize it is Jake Glass and another scrum opportunity being given to the men from Wanderers and we have also seen the likes of Andile in the second half who's also hoping to get his first team debut who's had a fantastic encounters as well today against the lines of Ron Fontaine. And he'll be hoping to possibly one day come through. And this is what you can expect from the Hollywood Bets Wanderers Rugby Club. They are building up the structure from an under 21's point of view, moving right up towards the second team, creating more options for the first team. And one thing that they do really well 
is it's not just about rugby they have soccer within the Wanderers club they have bowling they have cricket and most importantly they even have golf so everything for them is all coming together like we always say on a weekly basis that it all comes together with the castle and it's coming together really well here for both these two sides as once again Ngobese is back on his feet and hoping to showcase his skill set again with the likes of Nti. Mahati has another opportunity to feed that ball in again. And the calls given by the referee. To just reset. And T has actually been having a great opportunity to come back into the structure. The old Vitz player has come into the structure again. And even the likes of Harty is a former JP player who's been having a great day at the office here for this one side. We saw him again against the likes of Raiders. And as Harty opts to go the opposite direction again and feeds it into the safety nets there of JJ Mushwana being taken out, but he still has the ball for his side as now of another penalty advantage here. Ah, they were men from Wanderers. And a player to get on replay again will be the likes of Jake Glass, the former Kes player. Not only has he been a great ball carrier, the one thing I'm really excited about to see with Glass is how he's growing consistently on a weekly basis. We've seen him coming off the bench in the last few fixtures, but today he's really had a great day at the office. We're moving towards the 55th minute, and the amount of carries, it's been over 10 carries here, is Jake Glass. He started off this encounter, causing a bit more chaos from a defensive point of view for Ron Fontaine. And even as Michael Mkise will be coming in as a replacement, the duo is really a joy to watch. No wonder is we're hoping to move uphill again. And another call given by the referee. And it seems like he's calling for a reset from a line house point of view. And earlier on, we had the well known the Castle Lager kick for Paul's half time competition and they got to win a full-on case here as the men from Ranfontein are hoping to get their case here being taken to court and hopefully the judge which is the referee might just allow them to possibly showcase their skill talents and once again Mubego Zulu the captain getting a talking to the amount of high tackles we've seen here today I think there are over eight high tackles that are being given away from the Hollywood Bets Wanderers Rugby Club. And it's a lot of ill discipline. And the technique is just not there from their point of view. But one thing they should be really happy with is it hasn't costed them the game at the moment. It's still just on a two-point, a different back foot. And that kick was sent along. And it seems like the referee calls in once again for a knock-on. And Dan Fontaine still has another opportunity here to move towards the try line as we have reached the 55th minute mark in this encounter. Franco has an opportunity here to set up the likes of Justin Menkes, captain ball carrier. 
who opts to not take it this time. Not a great mo movement here. Tian now was hoping to evade the likes of Craig Colling with great structure defensively. Now feeds it to the left hand side. Great ball movement. De Villiers sends it long to Yango Tiet. They are gaining the meters here. Are the men from Runfontein? The great structure here. Bernard Bale the fit. He's going to get a comes together here. And he opens up his campaign. He's the one and only Bernie Bellevelt who secures a try for the visitors. And it seems like he saw an opportunity and a gap within the Wanderers Rugby Club's defensive pattern. And was able to capitalize on it as he sets up his side. With another five points. And it will be an easy conversion kick here for Yanko Tiet. And it's over. Adds in another seven points for the visitors. It's really coming together for the men from Runfontein. We will be hoping to hold on to this undefeated run within the season. And they are currently the only side within the Castle Lager Pirates Challenge. We haven't lost a fixture. Are looking at resetting. Ups to go towards the left hand side. I was hoping to get a little kick there. Let's see on now. It's a turnover for Harty. Sends it now. Great hot running here. And Clint Anthony. Had a line break. And the take towards the blind side here now. By the likes of Torres. Able to get the penalty. Just a few meters short here. From the try line. Are the men from Wanderers. Playing it short to the right hand side. Now the Ranfontein defensive line is really tight and neat at the moment. And T hoping to find a gap. They have an entire backline structure set up on the right hand side. Should they opt to go that direction? But no, it's a call from Harty. Still letting his forward do the hard work here. Torres. Gaining just one meter. And still a meter short from the try line. Now Harty just looking at various options that he has. Hasn't made up his mind yet as Harty finally takes it out. Great ball to Torres again. Retaining the ball brilliantly here. Harty opts to go back the opposite direction to the blind. Just a meter short here. And looking for options again is Mayowitz. Moran Fontaine. Really composed defensively here. And it's a turnover ball. Too many phases being played here by the home base side. They started off really well. Just three phases on the left hand side. Hoping to penetrate the blind side. Not really working, but he has the turnover ball here. A great hot running. Feeds it to the left-hand side. And a great work here by Ranfontein. It is Louis Smith going for the little grubber. The bounce doesn't come his way. And a great recovery there by JJ Mashwana. A penalty being awarded to this wondrous side. Now a quick take here by Mashwana. Hard tackle coming in by Songanes. I wonder if I have an opportunity now to restructure. Is the referee is blown in? Is referee Richard Schultz for that dangerous tackle? Coleric will be happy 
with that call from the referee. As the side now has another opportunity to possibly move towards the try line here. Anderson looking for the likes of Mti again. It's an easy ball turned over by Jose Diaz. Plays it short. And it is Tian now. Sends it long. And Harty decides to take it himself to the blind. Cuts back inside again. In the battle of the number nines. Harty nearly losing the ball. Panya. Great carry there by Panya. And the knock on call has been given by the referee. And the one thing that you would expect at the 2024 Castle Lager Pirates Rugby Challenge is Bread of the Nation Initiative. The Castle Lager is more than just a beer. They're part of the community. Feeding people with bread that is created by using sorin grain that was left over in the manufa uh, manufacturing process of Castle Lager. And today, those initiatives, just like this Castle Lager Rugby Challenge, is being implemented on a weekly basis, not just here, in Ilovo, in Santin, it's being implemented in Pretoria and also in Wazulu Natal with the Moa and Murray Cup. A short on penalty. Given to the home base side. And I have an opportunity uh, for another scrum. Is the call by the skipper, Mbego Zulu. Now both these two sides have a lot of fresh legs to bring into this encounter. They have the likes of Mike Mkise, Dylan Rutherford, Sibabale Mfenyana. They call him Shorts. And he'll be hoping to be the big man. Bali is what he's also known for. And a great feed in by Harty. And a great work coming in by the replacement there. Herman van Eck from Ron Fontaine. And looking at recycling the ball, playing it short to Mayowitz. carry again moving into the second phase here by the men from Wanderers the ball has passed backwards into the comfortable hands of Murray Newlands if 8-1 is Murray he's still going great work by Murray Newlands and what an evasion ball there into the hands of Zulu great passing movement here now it is Rashia it goes to ground here as Rashia Better style of play here, but wonder is letting the ball do the work here now. To the safety nets of Ngobese. And he's worked really well now to get another penalty for his side. Another kick. Comes in again. And Kolarik moving towards the try line here. Are the men from Wanderers in a very good position here as they bring in a few more replacements like the likes of Adols, Mpasele, and even the likes of Ndumiso Somdiala. 
They call him Stones. And he'll be hoping to add in more reinforcement. Now a great ball here to the new man in, Ndumiso Sundiala. Unfortunately, the ball skew. But they still have another opportunity here to still push from a scrum's point of view and possibly convert that ball. Ryan Fontaine still in a comfortable lead. But just a nine points difference. As the new man in, Yako will be hoping to make sure that the scrumming will probably work in his favor. The feed comes in. Great work now. Back into his comfortable hands. Looking at exiting. A fumble there by Murray Newlands. Recovered well. Ops to go to the blind inside. Great run by Murray Newlands. Still has the ball here. Other men from under is fumbled again by Torres. Into the comfortable hands here. Into Clint Anthony. He takes it. Clint Anthony. Great hard running by Clint Anthony. Letting the ball do the work here. It's in Pasele. And he has another opportunity to get this ball moving for his side. Is Adolf Mpatele. We saw him in the previous fixture when they played against the Raiders. He also came off from the bench. And showcasing some great skill set is Mpatele. And Wonder is in a good position again now to possibly get a mall going. Seven points are desperately needed from the end. But the visitors are still very much comfortable. With just a nine points difference. The ball fed long turnover by Ranfontein. And seek to exit it into touch. Not a lot of meters being gained by the men. We're currently based at Tyen Convenant Street in Green Hills, Ranfontein. Pressure is still currently on at the moment. A better line out comes in here from Wonders. And the mall is going a few meters short as the mall is still going. Seeking for various options here. Other men from Ranfontein. Batlele wants that ball, gets it finally. Coleric takes it himself. Coleric, a meter short here. Still retained again. Batlele sends it to the left head inside to the likes of Clint Anthony. Get it down the line! Distributing the ball really well here. Now the home base side men. Finally sends it to the left. It's a great work here coming in now. And Ingworth. Just patiently looking for those options again. They still have a penalty advantage here. Are oh, the home base side men. And as the referee just calms the tempo of this fixture down. He is seeking to have a word with the captain, Justin Mankies. It basically seems as if there's been a lot of off-the-ball movement. And that ill-discipline is what the referee, Richard Schultz, will not allow, as he is the man who is in charge of this fixture. Now Mpatele has another opportunity here. He's seeking for his forward, sends it to the left-hand side. Great tacky once again, and it's a try given. Great work once again by the home base side. And what a response again 
by the men from the Hollywood Bets Wanderers Rugby Club. And this is what you can expect from them. We saw them last week as well as they played against Raiders. They're really evasive, really critical moments, especially in the last few minutes. They do look for those final touches. And that final touch has allowed him to be awarded another try. Now Kolarik gets it over comfortably. And have added another seven points onto the scoreboard. And it's now a two point difference as it gets towards the end of this encounter. And the key question is, who will be able to walk away as the victors? As the visitors, Ranfontaine will be hoping to hold on to the unbeaten streak here. As Tian now sends it high. A great take. Once again, from NC, takes it to Zulu, loses the ball in contact to Zulu, now turned over from Runfontaine. And have the likes of Yanko Hinnix. Now here's the line break coming in here, looking for an option. Feeds it to the left hand side. Oh, great evasion by De Villiers. Holding right! And holding on to the ball is De Villiers on the ground. It seems like Runfontein still has the ball in hand, feeds it to Minkies and loses it. And the tackle is Minkies. And it seems like Wanderers is just playing the ball as Mbatele. Just playing their own style of play at the moment as the referee stopped the play at the moment. It does seem like the home base side will be hoping to end off this campaign and making everyone happy as the supporters come out in numbers to possibly get their side to be pushed towards a victory. It is still anyone's game as we move towards the last few minutes of this encounter. And Ranfontein might just silent the home base fans He's in a really good position here. He's five meters from the opposition try line. And it does seem Kasefo and Si is receiving some medical attention. It is currently just 19 degrees Celsius here in the Lovo. With a slight wind direction moving towards the west. As the men are hoping from Wanderers that the winds of the heavens might be in their favor as they're hoping to get back into this encounter. And after the ball movement was a high tackle, the referee brings it back for the penalty. Great call there by the referee. That incident happened just right in front of him. He's now hoping to possibly have a talking to to uh, Captain Minkies. Now kicked into touch is the ball from the men from Wanderers. Hoping now to possibly get that critical penalty. Or possibly help them to walk away as the victors in this encounter. And have the likes of Zulu and C who've been quite fantastic at line outs. A skew call by the referee. And Rory Anderson is not a happy lad yet. This is actually had a really great day at the office. Here's Rory Anderson. A man who comes into this encounter with a great deal of experience. Here's Anderson. Oh, 
also do have the likes of Michael Nkise. Man who also played for the Sharks Juniors in Wazulu Natal. He's one of those key players whom they have part of their bomb squad. Yeah. Fiza ball in, set down, turnover by Wanderers. Now great ball distribution to the left hand side. Ingworth looks for options again. It seems like it's another knock on here by the men from Wanderers. After a well worked strum and turned it over. It does seem like the tackler will be happy with that call by the referee. Was the new replacement in? Mr. Human, who came through to cause a bit more frustration for the attacker and caused him to lose the ball in contact. He set up his side here to have a moment to breathe. Baylor felt is back into. the order of things after receiving some medical attention. Yako hoping to feed that ball again. This is turnover and Pashele gets the ball now. Moves towards the blind side. And great work coming in. A uh, call is given by the referee. And they have another opportunity here to set up their men. Seems like they brought in a great deal of experience here. They brought in Sibabal and Fenyane. It's going to be quite a great reinforcement here for this front row. And adding in as much fresh legs as possible. All the men from Wanderers hoping to finish strong again. And a turn of the ball here, great work coming in by Yende, the replacement for Ran Fontaine. And still moving upfield again. Other men from Ran Fontaine playing it short again. Some great rugby, great ball retention, letting the ball do the work here. As the referee brings it back with a penalty call earlier. And this will be such a moment. That'll be good from the run from Tain's point of view as it gives them another opportunity to breathe. And it's definitely the taste that stood the test of time. This Castle Lager. It seems like the visitors have also gone through the fire. It seems like they're able to control this fixture. And this is a true testament of why they actually have been unbeaten over the last five fixtures that they've played. Now they have another opportunity. To feed this ball in. They've brought in the likes of Human. It's a great carrier. It's a loose ball here. Great work by Rutherford. Oh, big boy carry. Stays in low shitting. Oh, he's moving up here. Yeah. Is the new replacement from Wanderers. As the referee brings it back. Oh, moving forward here. All oh, the men from Wanderers. Now hoping. 
to possibly finish off this encounter with the bank. And in the last few minutes of this encounter, they are hoping that they'll be the ones who will be singing Castle Lager at the end of this encounter. As the likes of Rory Anderson are getting ready to feed that ball, sucked in. It's a knock on again. And boy, oh boy. Another mistake here by Wanderers. They're in such a great position to possibly produce a last minute try and get the home base supporters full of cheers. It didn't go their way. Now Ranfontaine need to possibly get out of their red zone. Ziako gets ready to feed that ball in into the safety nets of Mankies. Still recovers the ball here as Mankies plays it again to the left hand side to the new man in, Human. Looking at exiting here is Tianel. And the bounce comes cushionedly to the hands of Mishwana. And a call by the referee. There's a penalty being awarded to Ranfontaine for Mishwana. Now releasing the ball on the ground. And Ranfontaine turning up the heat here and causing an upset to the home base supporters. Carrying the ball really well here by the men from Ranfontaine. And we brought all the way back for that penalty call. It seems like the visitors are showcasing why they're currently sitting the second on the log. There's a log leaders at the moment. We're just a few points away from them. Opting to take it out. Not successful. Basile gets it. Cuts through his Basile. Goose is in the air. And into a beastly tackle there by Justin Menkes. You wouldn't want to take an opportunity with Menkes. Even if you're driving a Ferrari here in Santon, the cops will definitely get you. It's one of those cops. No wonder is. Still retaining the ball really well, opting to go towards the left hand side. Great ball distribution. Oh, what a pass. Oh, fancy footwork here. And the first goose comes in and gaining the meters here. Oh, the men from Wanderers through Russia. And he loses the ball in contact once again. And it's a turnover ball here for Ranfontaine. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. It seems like the referee has called an end to this fixture. And the visitors still walk away as the winners and continue the unbeaten streak here to six out of six. And they walk away as the victors in this encounter with just 19 points. And the Hollywood Bets Wanderers Rugby Club walk out of this encounter as the losers with 17 points. And it's been an absolute pleasure and a privilege being alongside you in the commentary country. The name is the one and only Mr. Sazingopo saying everything comes together with the castle. And we hope that you had an interesting and an exciting and also an entertaining rugby fixture in this round seven encounter. Please stay tuned for the next few fixtures that will be coming up in the next week or so. We will be having round eight of the various encounters. But please don't forget to kindly follow us on Instagram at the Castle Lager Pirates Challenge. Even follow us on YouTube at the Pirates Rugby Challenge. And also be sure to visit us on www.piratesrugbychallenge.co.za. And from us, it's been an absolute pleasure. And saying to you, have a good evening, have a good weekend.
Stay safe and stay blessed. And thank you so much for tuning in.